Assalamu alaikum brothers, sisters and friends, I hope you're all well. So I just wanted to take a couple of minutes and address something that's recently happened over social media and has created a lot of uproar and that is Professor Dawkins tweets regarding aborting fetuses with Down syndrome. Now when I initially came across this I was disgusted and quite shocked frankly because you wouldn't expect something like this from such individuals but nevertheless I mean it's wrong and whether theist or atheist, all of us can appreciate this, that innately we understand the value of life, how precious life is. And what I wanted to do was just touch upon a few points because we will be addressing this in greater detail in the next GDM show. But in this particular video, I just wanted to put a few thoughts out there for you guys to really think about and engage with. Now, number one, the first thing I wanted to point out was being such an individual, holding such a position in society, an individual who influences millions of people around the world, Surely, I mean, that requires some sense of sensibility and some level of responsibility, especially when it comes to sharing things, especially ideas which could potentially be detrimental or dangerous in society. The next thing I want you guys, you guys to think about was atheism. And when I'm gonna, what I'm about to say now, doesn't, I'm not attacking or pointing out individuals. I'm not talking about atheists as human beings. What I'm talking about is atheism as the worldview. See, the worldview itself can never give you anything objective. There is no objective moral values and duties on atheism. There is no absolute right or wrong. All you have is your subjective opinions, whether it be the subjective opinion of an individual or the subjective opinion of a group of individuals, a collective group. Nevertheless, it is subjective. And for you to come out and say that this is objectively wrong or this is morally wrong or pass moral judgments is quite frankly pathetic because your worldview doesn't allow for you to do that in any true sense. Now, <clears throat> on theism, for example, it's different because on theism, we have an anchor because we believe the divine reality, God Almighty, He created everything that exists. He created us and He is our anchor. He is the source by which we get our objective moral values and duty and in whom we can ground objective moral values and duties. And in the absence of which, you don't have any anchor. You don't have any anchor. You're just matter, right? You're just a rearrangement of molecules. Right and wrongs don't really make any sense, in any objective sense at least. And this notion in itself can be detrimental because this notion in itself that you are just matter or rearrangement of matter can lead human beings to make such statements, to carry out such actions. Whereas from the Islamic perspective, on Islam, we know we're not just a rearrangement of molecules, we're something far greater. God created us, He placed within us, within us a soul. And we're something more profound than just a rearrangement of molecules or atoms. Nevertheless, the third thing I want to point out is that individuals such as Richard Dawkins, what they like to do is they like to put a framework around their moral values and duties. For example, philosophies such as consequentialism or utilitarianism. But these are very flawed too. And again, something we'll go into much more detail in the show later on during the week, next week. But for now, what I want to quickly point out is that consequentialism, for example, doesn't work. It breaks down quite easily because for one, we don't know the poss all possible consequences of particular actions. We simply don't, right? And the whole point of consequentialism is it's based on the consequences of a particular action. If the consequences are good, then you do it. If they're detrimental or result in suffering, then you don't do it. But the reality is that you don't really know the consequences of all particular actions. So from that perspective, consequentialism breaks down. Another problem is that there are many absurd, crazy, nasty things, which I won't mention in this video, that can be justified under the banner of consequentialism. Again, you know, there, there are many problems with such philosophies. And I guess to round off, what I would like to say is, if Mr. Dawkins is watching this, is that maybe, just maybe be a little bit more considerate, maybe be a little bit more thoughtful regarding, share, at least, you know, about, regarding your opinions and what you believe is right or wrong. And really consider your worldview before you come out there and you state this is absolutely wrong or this is absolutely right. You know, because realize your worldview does not let you account for absolute right or wrong. So I leave you guys with this. I thank you all for listening. And remember, stay tuned for the show, which will be out next week. The links are here. 
The show will be posted on these pages. Watch it, leave your comments, tell us what you think. I thank you for listening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.